In my last short, we learned how we can check for ADCS vulnerabilities against a domain controller or ADCS server, and we found that this particular server was vulnerable to the ESC7 attack. And to carry out that attack, we're going to follow the steps from the Certify wiki to gain the administrator's hash, and then sign in to the domain controller as the administrator user using EvilWinRM. Our first step is going to be add our Raven user as an officer for the Certificate Authority Manager-DCO1-CA. The second step is going to make sure that the sub-CA template is enabled so that we can use it to submit certificate requests. We're using the tool certify AD and the CA parameter, supplying our user and password, giving it a name server of the domain controller, and setting the target to the host name of the domain controller, setting the certificate authority to the manager DC01CA, which we found earlier, and then setting the enable template to the sub-CA certificate template. Once that's been successfully enabled, we are then going to run the certify ad command again using the request parameter. And then this time we are going to add a dash template flag of sub CA and a dash UPN flag of administrator at manager.hdb for the administrator user of this domain. Once we hit enter, we're going to get an error saying that the requested certificate was denied. And this is expected because the next thing is that we're going to save the private key. So hit yes when this comes up. And we should now have a file called 19.key or whatever certificate request number you get. Now that we have our 19.key, we're going to again run certify AD with the CA flag. And now we are going to set the issue request flag to the number from the key that we got from the previous step. And what this is doing is approving the certificate request that we just submitted since we have the manage CA permissions. Sometimes this box is a little finicky and maybe I was taking too long with my explanations but I had to redo the uh, previous steps and get a key of 20 this time because um, the certificate was failing to be approved. But we got it to work once running the commands again with the 20 key, and we have successfully issued a certificate for request ID 20. So now we can retrieve that certificate by using the command certify-ad request, and we're going to retrieve the certificate 20. And if all goes well, we're seeing that we're saving a certificate called administrator.pfx. And we can run one last certify command using the off flag and setting the pfx flag to administrator.pfx and the DCIP to the domain controller IP address, which should give us our NTLM hash for the administrator user, which it does right here. So now all we have to do is copy the second part of the hash after the colon, use the evil WinRM tool to connect the box over WinRM, specify the user as administrator and the dash capital H flag to give it the password hash of that administrator user. And once we hit enter, we should have a remote session on the domain controller as the administrator user. And now you've taken over the domain.